So I think, you know, Tesla is this behemoth in the AI space. It's going to be one of the greatest AI opportunities of our time. And I, I think to ignore that is, is frankly wrong when thinking about the stock. So I'm excited about it. Welcome to Money and Investment, where your financial future starts today. Ever wondered why starting to invest when you're young is a game changer? Let's dive in. Investing in the stock market might seem daunting, but it's a powerful tool for building wealth. Why? It's all about time and compound interest. Starting young means more time for your investments to grow. Think of it like planting a tree. The earlier you plant, the longer it grows and the bigger it gets. Worried about risks? The earlier you start, the more time you have to recover and learn from market ups and downs. And if you're starting at 50, no worries. It's about choosing the right strategies suited to your stage in life. In the interview, Tasha Keeney, ARK Invest's Director of Investment Analysis and Institutional Strategies, discusses why she remains bullish on Tesla despite expectations of slower production growth in 2024. She emphasizes ARK Invest's long-term perspective on disruptive names like Tesla and highlights the significance of the next-generation EV platform and the company's focus on building a custom robotaxi vehicle. Keeney expresses excitement about Tesla's advancements in autonomous technology, particularly with the rollout of full self-driving, FSD, version 12, and the potential for Optimus to begin shipping the next year. She sees Tesla as a leader in AI and autonomous capabilities, downplaying concerns about Elon Musk's threat to move innovation elsewhere if he doesn't secure a 25% voting control in the company. Let's focus on what the market's looking at in the first instance, which is a next generation EV platform is coming. We're coming out the back of the, the Model 3 and Y era, so output will be less in 2024 from a growth perspective. Does that worry you? Yeah, well, you said it, you know, we're really focused on the long term here at ARK Invest, which really you should be for a disruptive name like Tesla. So, you know, they, they did mention, yes, production um, growth for this coming year will be slower. Uh, you know, they, they are focused on this next generation vehicle platform and they're, they're attributing, you know, the, the part of the uh, cautiousness on production to that. And overall, that's a great thing, right? Um, you know, as well as anyone, that I'm excited about the robo-taxi opportunity. So the fact that they're building a custom uh, robo-taxi vehicle is really exciting and shows their confidence and their autonomous capability. Um, you, you know, we have uh, FSD-12, their you know latest version of the autonomous technology software in the car, rolling out to customers like, that, that again shows confidence in their capability. We also heard that um, Optimus might begin shipping next year. So I think, you know, Tesla is this behemoth in the AI space. It's going to be one of the greatest AI opportunities of our time. And I, I think to ignore that is, is frankly wrong when thinking about the stock. So I'm excited about it. Well, the next gen vehicle platform joins the, the traditional car making side of the story with the AI story, right? What did we learn? Musk said it will be low cost that they're making progress on start of production, which will start in Texas in the first instance. But he said, take 2025 with a grain of salt. Did you learn enough during the call about the next gen platform to fully understand where we go from here on this future robo taxi concept? Yes, well, I'd say, you know, overall, I, I think Elon is a lot more cautious than he has been in the past with his forecast. I mean, he said it on the call that he has been really optimistic with timelines um, and honestly who can blame them because i think humans in general are pretty bad at predicting ai progress um, but yes we heard that they can start production next year on the next generation vehicle platform you know i think there's a lot of cause for optimism in what they said around margins so we saw automotive gross margins x credits tick up in the quarter um, you know we did hear that one they're they're cutting costs on a per car basis um, in, in a way that's really unprecedented in the auto industry um, and they also said that even though, you know, on their current vehicle platform, they're sort of reaching the limits of that cost reduction, that doesn't mean that they're done, right? Um, so we heard on the design side, um, you know, it's commodity prices, that flows through to the underlying cost of the vehicle, that takes some time. Uh, so there's still optimism there, and I think that's amazing. Um, I mean, when you look at EVs as a whole, traditional automakers are cutting back on their electric vehicle platforms. I mean, that's a bad idea because EVs are already cost competitive with gas powered cars. And guess what? It's only going to get cheaper. So this is the future and, and Tesla is the leader there. 
Your models, I mean, the last time it was updated, you had an expected value per share of $2,000 for Tesla by 2027, predicated on the idea of this robo-taxi venture. On the bull and the bear case, where do you stand right now when he is saying take 2025 with a grain of salt? How much do you think we will see robo-taxis become in use, in place, revenue generating by 2027? Yeah, so, you know, we're currently updating our model. Um, look out for, let's say, over the next few months, an updated price target for MOTS for 2028. Um, and actually, our Big Ideas deck, our annual research presentation on, uh, you know, the technologies that we cover as a whole is coming out soon. So that'll give you a little preview. Um, but I'd say overall, you know, um, we, on autonomy, right, you think about it in the five-year term. So could they be late a few quarters? Absolutely. Um, and again, uh, humans are bad at predicting AI, right? I could have told you comfortably the night before ChatGPT came out and was released to the world, the chatbots weren't that good. But guess what? It changed overnight. Um, and we already see from players like Waymo that uh, robo-taxis are possible. We actually already see from Tesla that robo-taxis are possible because you can watch the consumer videos online that show people that have virtually no interventions yeah. on full point-to-point -point rides. So it's just a matter of, of when. And do I think that'll happen in the next five years? Yeah. And I think we heard again some of the confidence in FSD 12, which is an important milestone for them in, in making the road to full autonomy on the call. Tasha, your thesis and ARC's thesis on the bet of Tesla is that it is inextricably linked with AI, with robotics. Yet we hear Elon Musk threatening to take those two key things, that innovation elsewhere, if he doesn't get the 25% voting control that he wants in the company. Are you worried by that threat? I, I think that's really overblown, the fear about that. I mean, one, um, we are uh, very happy to have Elon Musk be incentivized uh, to change the world. I mean, this man is uh, clearly capable of amazing things when it comes to robotics and AI. Uh, so we want his incentives to be aligned with the, the future of Tesla. Um, also, you know, Tesla's been investing in this for, you know, the past decade or so. Uh, they are years ahead of the competition when it comes to AI. To give you an example, um, currently, Tesla vehicles are able to access over 2 million miles per day um, driven in full self-driving from customers. So that's very important training data that you need to make a fully autonomous car. Um, you know, Waymo, uh, in, in the course of the lifetime of the project, has single digit millions worth of driving data. Uh, so this is, you know, Tesla is so much further ahead when it comes to scale on AI already. Um, and again, I, I'm really excited for this coming year. Um, Optimus, we think, could be, uh, you know, general purpose robots could be roughly a $10 trillion uh, market alone in manufacturing, um, even more when you look to, say, like household tasks, which could be further down the line. Um, so there's so many exciting things things ahead for Tesla. So I think the focus on, you know, demand production in the short term is really just that. It's short term focus when you want to be long term focused with this name. Tasha Keeney maintains a positive outlook on Tesla's future, citing optimism about the next generation vehicle platform, advancements in autonomous technology, and the potential for Tesla to dominate the AI and robotaxi markets. While acknowledging Elon Musk's caution about production timelines, Keeney remains confident in Tesla's long-term prospects, dismissing fears about Musk's threat to innovation. Overall, the interview conveys a belief in Tesla's leadership in the EV and AI sectors, emphasizing the importance of a forward-looking approach when evaluating the company's potential. Ready to start your investment journey? Explore our channel for more insights on making smart, informed investment choices. Remember, it's never too late or too early to start investing in your future. Join us at Money and Investment for more tips and tricks on building your wealth. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out.